Welcome back everybody to our series on making a simple, very simple little farming game in Pico 8. So far we have a little robot that walks around the map here. We have a couple of little pieces of inventory here. We have nine seed packets, we have zero carrots, and we can go through and we can hit X to plant seeds and we can plant nine little patches. And then after that, we can't plant any. And then after a little bit of time, these seeds grow into a carrot automatically. Once they're carrots, we can go through and just hover over the carrot and hit X to harvest each of these carrots. And we get a couple seeds and a carrot from each of those patches. And then we can plant more seeds and uh, yeah, and so on. So not a terribly challenging game right now, but we do have a bunch of things working. And so I've been asking you guys what we should do next. Like what's the, what's the plan next? And a lot of you said a watering can. So I think what we'll do is we'll only have these grow if we water them. So should just take a couple little tweaks here and let's see if we can get that working, okay? So here in our code, we have four tabs. We have the main game loop here with our init, update, and draw. We have a tab that's focused on the player. We have a tab that's focused on nature's way, like how crops grow, how things, how time moves forward, that kind of thing. And then we have one kind of based on inventory. So I think the first thing let's do is when we plant a seed, we set a certain amount of properties for the seed. And let's just add a property and let's call this uh, watered and let's set it to false. Okay, so each seed when we water it is going to have a property called watered and it's going to be false when it starts. Then as seeds grow, let's only have this time in ground set go up if the seed is watered. So if s dot watered, then we do this. Okay, so now, ooh, oh, I didn't put a comma. There we go, save run. Now we can plant the seeds, but they won't actually grow. We'll just wait awkwardly and make sure that they don't actually grow. They're not growing. Okay, so that's good. Now let's figure out a way to water them. First of all, let's go ahead and make a new patch here and let's make it so that we can see that the seeds are watered, something like that. Okay, so now we kind of have this wet patch on the ground. So this is Sprite 5. So what we need to do, um, let, let's go ahead and use this collect a carrot code and just copy and paste this because this is going to be similar to what we want to do. But instead of harvesting things, we're going to water things. So I'll just actually, let's just go ahead and do this right here, all of the else if like that. And then this one, instead of collect a carrot, we'll just say water seeds. Okay. So we're not going to harvest. We're going to set M set to five and we're going to go through and find the seed in our array of all of the different patches here. And we're going to say s.watered equals true. Let's see if this works. Save run. So we have a couple of these. Ooh, we're not switching that out. Okay. All right, so I had I was actually thinking this right, but I just didn't have this number right. So, whew. so here's what we're doing. If we press X, one of three things is going to happen. One is it's blank ground, and so it has the first flag. So that's going to be either a blank space or a grass. That's flag one. And if we have seeds, then we're going to take one away from our seeds. We're going to set the tile to be sprite three, and then we're going to add seeds to our array of seeds. The other thing that could happen when we hit X is if we're over a sprite that is just seeds with no water, we're going to set this to a watered tile, and then we're going to update whatever seed that represents in our array to be watered. The other thing that could happen is if there's already a carrot there, then we collect the carrot. Okay, so save, run, and now we have our seeds here, we have our seeds here, and I'm going to water these. So we have water, and the ones with water should grow. There we go. And so those grow into carrots, but the ones without water don't. Yeah, that's cool. Now I can harvest these carrots and I can plant more seeds and I got to water them. And so now it's just contextual. If we hit the action button basically over a patch that needs the next thing, then that's what we'll do. And I think that works fine for now. Again, we're just really keeping this so simple, as simple as we can. And we're adding more and more functionality as we go. So we have the watering can, we have the seeds, I mean, we're basically doing our farming thing. What should happen next? What do you think? What's uh, what's the best thing to happen after we water those seeds and they only grow if we water them? What does this need next? Why don't you let me know in the comments? And I would love to see your version of this game and hear about your experience trying to make a little farming game in Pico 8. And thanks for hanging with me.